all of our analytic geometries up to now have had an element of review from Algebra 1 in them. This one is the first one that is going to be very new to you, but it does use some elements that will feel familiar. Okay, so before we get started on all the pieces and parts of a circle, <clears throat> excuse me, on a coordinate grid, I want to talk to you about where a circle actually comes from. Okay, a circle is a conic section. Now, conic means it's part of a cone. You may have seen the brown and tan cone that's in my classroom, and it has the different sections are different colors because um, we talk about the different ki kinds of sections of a cone that you can take. You actually already know formulas for different sections. You know the formula for a line. You know y equals mx plus b, which is officially a conic section. Also, you've seen parabolas before, and the formula for a parabola is y equals x squared. We've talked about all the translations of a parabola, but you just didn't realize you were doing a conic section. This is um, the intersection of a right circular cone, which is what you've seen in my classroom. Now the plane is perpendicular to the axis, and that's where you're like chopping the top of the cone off, or a piece of the cone off. And I can show, I will show you this in our classroom um, tomorrow. But anyway, once you do that, you have a perfect circle. Now there are more than just those three conic, conic sections. There's hyperbola, and there are, um, ellipses and that's pretty much where you draw we don't talk much more about any other types but you'll talk about those probably in algebra 2 but for sure in pre-calculus so okay so all of that to say here's a circle it's on a coordinate grid the center is O but if you notice on the X and Y what is the point of that center it's 0 0 and then we have a point P that's on the circle, and it's, we don't know it right now, it's just X, Y. So we're going to derive a formula, since we know Y equals MX plus B, and Y equals X squared of parabola and line, we now are going to come up with one for a circle. So the formula for a circle begins with the distance formula, okay? It is a set of points that are equal distant from a center. That equal distance is called the radius, right? So here is the distance between the two points. We already know one of the points. I just told you that the radius center begins at 0, 0. So I can put one of those points in. And then I'm replacing the D distance for radius because that's essentially what we want to know. We want to know from the center to the edge of the circle. And I know that x minus 0 squared is just 